Welcome everyone and welcome to today's short video. Now today we're going to look at the brake bias. Now if you're like me and you've driven the Mercedes W12, the Formula 1 car in iRacing, you have probably thought the brake bias is too high. I'm locking up my fronts. It's definitely not me. <laughs> it's the car. It's the brake bias. And you want to bring that back, further back to the rear. Now, unfortunately, the lowest it goes to is 54, which in some instances is still quite far forward. So how do we get it lower than 54? I've seen people do this in streams and other videos, uh, but no one's actually talked it through. So this is a nice short video to show you how to do it. It's really easy. Now you wanna make sure that you've got your brake bias set at 54 before you get into the car, or you can do it once you're in the car with the in-car adjustments. But what we're keeping an eye out for is the brake bias fine option. Now this is an in-car adjustment only. We can't do this in the setup before we jump in. So as soon as we jump in the car, we need to have a look at this option. And it's really simple. We just click this left arrow and you see that orange number, which is the brake bias. And there we go, all the way down to as low as 51. Move it back up. 53 is kind of a sweet spot for me. I play around from there. Uh, it's always track dependent and of course, personal preference as well. But there we go, guys, nice and easy. Now, what I would recommend is that you bind this option, uh, the in-car control to a toggle or um, two different buttons for your increase and decrease in um, because brake bias and brake fine, brake bias fine are two different options, unfortunately. So you will need either four buttons or two separate toggles uh, to turn these up and down. Now, guys, this will definitely work within the fixed setup uh, series. Of course, the only thing we can change in effect fixed setup is the brake bias and the brake bias fine, of course, adjusts that brake bias. So we can do that, guys. So hopefully you won't be locking up your front tires anymore and yeah, you'll be more in control of your car and set faster lap times, which is what we all want, isn't it? So hopefully that helps you out, guys. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and see you for the next one. Bye.